All right, let's check it out now with everything connected. I've got four 3500 milliamp hour 18650 batteries, which gives us a combined capacity of about 52 watt hours. If we assume about 80% usable capacity, this gives us about 40 watt hours. I really like this new setup. It's a lot cleaner and more compact than what I was using before. And with the UPS, the Raspberry Pi can monitor the battery charge state. They even have this little GUI where you can view those values. Unfortunately, it doesn't also give you the total power consumption. These values here are from the Raspberry Pi's internal hardware and only gives you the power consumption for the Pi's CPU. They're using this Maxim 17040 fuel gauge sensor to monitor the charge state of the battery using their own proprietary algorithm, which I assume is some form of Coulomb counting. I I assume they're using the high side monitoring to monitor the state of all batteries at once and unfortunately it doesn't give us the total power usage which is annoying because there are other maximum fuel gauge sensors that not only give us individual cell states but also the total power consumption. There are other Raspberry Pi UPSs that do monitor power consumption but these either mount to the top of the Pi or don't allow for the same cell capacity. The closest thing I've found is this WaveShare UPS Model E which does monitor individual cell states and total power usage. Unfortunately I don't really like like the form factor and it's only able to be charged via USB-C and seeing as I want to charge via solar power this isn't really ideal. There are solar panels with USB-C outputs but these tend to be lower power output or some weird foldable design which I don't really want. In any case it won't be proper solar charging with MPPT so at this stage I haven't found anything that is really ideal for my use case. In any case Halo's YOLO V8 demo seems to run just fine at 30 frames a second on the chip. There's not too much difference between what I'm doing here and what I was doing with the Raspberry AI camera but as I said in the previous video this board gives us way more options. While running the Raspberry Pi itself was drawing about 5 watts of power but of course this doesn't include the camera or the hat. Online I've seen some measurements of about 10 to 12 watts when running it as I am here so that should give us an indication of what to expect going forwards.